It is really hazy out, but I'm actually liking it. It's really setting the mood for this hike. It's very mysterious. It's time for another adventure. Adventures and welcome back to our channel. Today we're at Sky Top Lodge in the beautiful Poconos, Pennsylvania. We have some of the most beautiful views right here of the Appalachian Mountain chain that runs through Pennsylvania all the way down to Georgia and up to Maine. This is really cool. There's a lot of snow on the ground. It's really sunny out today and I think we'll be able to get a lot done. There are a ton of snow activities to do here in the wintertime at Sky Top. They even have their own ski hill. They also have tubing, ice fishing, and even ice skating on property. So a lot to do here at Sky Top. We're going to head downstairs and see what we have to do for all the activities. I think you do have to make some reservations and the ski hills are open from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So we'll see you guys outside. Dave just did a little bit of the drone and we actually made reservations for snow tubing. Our reservation is for 3.30 but we have to be there 15 minutes early just to check in, sign some waivers, and do all that good stuff. They were able to charge it right to our room and I think it's only around $10 so very inexpensive. We just found this really cool spot right next to the golf course i believe it's the golf course uh we're not sure if it's somebody's house or property but <laughs> it's still really cool the trees that are here all these pine trees are really straight up and down we took some pictures of her and uh it was like a little adventure it's pretty cool so we're ready to go down this road where all these really nice houses are on the lake and so that, heads, pretty. that heads down towards the adventure center doesn't it yeah so the adventure center is right in front of us that's where we're gonna go and park for tubing but there is also where you go skiing which we saw and it looks really really neat mm -hmm. they have this thing that pulls you up there's not like a chairlift because it's honestly just a hill it's not a mountain we got some traffic coming so <laughs> let's get out of here we have a few minutes to kill before going tubing and we're just taking a little stroll around the property and this hotel you guys is part of the historic hotels of America very substantial I'm just blown away with this place Place. Like Dave was saying, there are about like 5,000 acres or something crazy like that. Tons to do on this property. I mean, you could honestly stay here for a week and not do everything. And there's actually houses right on here that you guys can rent, which is awesome if you're coming with a big group of people. After you make your way past those cabins that you can rent here, it looks like the golf club is actually here, the country club. Yeah. So let's, we have to get a little closer to realize what it actually is, but it's huge. There is so much snow here, you guys. Like, look. <laughs> it's like two feet of snow. <laughs> I haven't been in this type of snow since we were little. And you don't even sink down to the bottom at all, because I guess they've been having snow for weeks now. But, uh. <laughs> I have no idea what this place is. It looks like there's taps. I see taps. The silhouettes of taps up there on a bar. You see him? <laughs> I do. Turns out that it is in fact a country club for the golf course. Uh, huge country club. I haven't seen one this big since a long time but they have a bag drop right there. They also have the course that starts right there and then you can put all your clubs and stuff there. <laughs> <laughs> we're there. Now we're gonna make our way back to the Adventure Center, park there and then walk over to the little tubing hill. I am so so excited to do this, you guys. We gotta feel it. Match my energy. Come on, kids. Come on, kids. Are you ready? So funny. The guy that runs <laughs> this is just hilarious. Yeah, he's really a character. Up uh, first, I'm Corey. I'm the guy calling the shots today. Dude, bro, throwing you kids down the mountain. He's walking up the top right there. His arms are up. That's Corey. No matter what happens today, if you have a lot of fun, if you get really scared, Corey's to blame, okay? They all have the ropey thingy. When you're coming down the tube hill, it's very important. The ropey thingy is in the tubey thingy. So everyone's starting to grab their tubes and head up. I think we're gonna go last because Dave wants to get some B-roll. 
And I am off! <laughs> Being pulled! This is so awesome! <laughs> I could honestly do this every day of my life. Hi, hon! <laughs> Isn't this awesome? So relaxing! <laughs> How was it? <laughs> that's all done. Really? Yeah. <laughs> There's about 10 minutes left, but we're leaving early. We're gonna go grab something quickly to eat and then probably head back out until the sun sets. That was really exciting though. <laughs> they, they actually have such a good system going there with the, the pulley that pulls you up and all the staff that works there. They're really knowledgeable and funny. Spinning around is definitely the way to go. <laughs> yeah. If you go straight, it's fun, but spinning is definitely the best way. Such a fun little snow day today. It's actually gonna be snowing tomorrow morning, so we're super excited for that. And they give you a full hour, so you can go up and down the hill about five times, which is really great. I think we're gonna head downstairs and see what restaurants are open. There are three different spots in here to get food. One's the tap room, I think, then the library, and then the main dining room. Tomorrow night we're gonna try and hit up the main dining room we'll see it is super crowded here yesterday there was like no one here and now when we went downstairs it was packed to the brim with people we made it to the tap room <laughs> it's actually on the basement floor it's super loud in here there is music playing behind me so I'm gonna try and talk as loudly as possible it's right next to the arcade and ping pong tables they have really good options here like soups and salads small plate type stuff like shrimp tacos and Pierogies, sandwiches, pizzas, all that kind of good stuff. Food just arrived. I went with the fish tacos and Dave went with a nice juicy burger. It looks really, really good. Yeah, they both look really good. So, excited to try these out. I actually went with a little bit of mayonnaise too to put on the burger with some extra ketchup. Always a plus. Now, these look really good. They look like the soft taco. They don't look like crunchy or anything, but they look well made. And they actually double wrap. Hold up. Double wrap. Double wrap. Double wrap. Double wrap. Double wrap. And then inside you have the shrimp. I think some like potato fries on top. And yep. then some lettuce. And then some boom boom sauce, which is like maybe a mayo ish kind of thing. I think it might have a little bit of a kick to it. We'll see. Mm hmm. I would taste it. Mmm. <laughs> Good. That boom boom sauce makes this whole shrimp taco. Really? Mm -hmm. Like dripping at the back. <laughs> I love anything mayo. I'll put mayo on my eggs. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's actually what um, what the Whopper has, which is yeah. ketchup and mayo. One of the reasons why I like the Whopper now, I hadn't had a Whopper ever until about three months ago. So I understand why it's a thing. This burger actually had the option to come with caramelized onions too, so I did that and uh, got it medium well to kill all that bacteria. <laughs> Perfect. 10 out of 10 for bar food. Mic me up. <laughs> So the, the deal is, is that we have to wrap everything that's on a receipt here, okay? So, I need a beach. Take the baseline out. Jonathan. <laughs> Such a great dinner. This place, you guys, has so much history. It was actually built in the 1920s. And look at this little thing. <laughs> I'm trying to get my meal here from my window <laughs> in the hallway, but it looks like there's stuff on the other side of it, so I can't get it in my order. Good morning, Treventurers. So it looks like there's a misty haze over everything today. It was raining a little bit earlier. It snowed overnight, so all that snow has washed away, but it's really wintry out. Looks great for hiking, which is what we're going to do today. We are going to take the Trout Stream Trail beyond the lake view trail the lake view trail is actually like a two mile hike around the lake near skytop 
and if you take the right side of that it actually turns into this trout stream trail uh, which leads you to Indian Ladder Falls really cool place great place to take pictures I mean it's one of the most famous places to go here for this resort but we are going to head out after Anne gets ready and we'll see you on the trail we are at the start of our journey how long is it well this one's 2.1 miles if you just go around the lake but the one we're going to is about 0.5 miles longer. We're basically going a straight line down this uh, this bank here and then following the stream and then coming back on the other side of the lake. It is really hazy out, but I'm actually liking it. It's really setting the mood for this hike. It's very yeah. mysterious and campground-like. The ice is unsafe on the sign here, but there are ice fishermen out there. There's about three tents and then a, a group of people further on in the fog there. You can't even tell where the trail ends and the ice or the lake begins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are following the blue blazes on this trail and I actually learned that word from Camp Mohican. And if you guys haven't watched those vlogs, please do so. We actually go to the place where they filmed Friday the 13th. We will link it down below. Ah! <laughs> Look at this house. Beautiful. I think we should get a house here, hon. Uh, yeah, right. And that's, that's the one I was pointing at. That one? Yeah, when we were driving down the road from the Adventure Center. I said it had that rock arches at the bottom. Yeah. So beautiful. Yeah, that is such a nice house. Who would have thought, like, we literally just found this place. We were searching places to go to that we could just drive to, obviously because of COVID. And I was just Googling stuff in the Poconos and came across Sky Top. And this is honestly a hidden gem. I think we are going to come back here yeah. <laughs> all the time. Sorry, I just slept, but <laughs> I think this is just going to be a yearly spot for us yeah. from here on out. We are nearing the right back portion of the lake if you're standing at sky top looking out at the lake and this is where you have to cross the road i believe to enter the trout stream trail which will ultimately lead you to indian ladder falls so we're going to cross over this little bridge here in the back of the lake and then cross over the street it is so hot now <laughs> i decided to wear two pairs of pants two sweaters two pairs of gloves and I even had two pairs of socks on but Dave made me take the one off. <laughs> yeah, that would have been too much I think. <sighs> I'm sweating! You'll notice when you cross the street and come up on the trail it actually divides and on the left is the alternate trout stream trail and then the right one is the the main one. I'm pretty sure it just goes the alternate goes around this little body of water here. It comes back around to this trail and then onto the Indian oh, okay. ladder falls so mm -hmm. it looks cool. A lot of cedars and stuff. Probably a really, really awesome place to fish, honestly. This is the most beautiful forest I've been in in a while. You know, right? and that, that's including Banff and some of the uh, the northern places in Canada that we were in the Rockies. You need a PA fishing license. I did read that on their brochures. So make sure you have that if you're coming here. Yeah, true. Skytop uh, actually provides you with those permits to be able to do that. So it feels like we are in a totally different place. It feels like we flew miles and miles yeah. to get here. And it's crazy that it's only two hours away. Yeah, it's like we're in Alaska or the Yukon or something. It's crazy. Awesome. on a tree we're into this kind of ravine where there's rock on both sides and it's a lot cooler because the sun can't shine in here but we are coming up to the falls right now crossing over this last little bridge and the sound is is getting pretty cool it's like rushing water everywhere it's all echoing off the sides of the mountains 
Really sweet. How is it back there, hon? Good. Such a great little journey back here. My boots, however, ladies, make sure you get boots in your right size because these are a size and a half too small and I am getting some blisters. Yeah. But powering through it because it's just so beautiful in here, it's not even bothering me that much. We're coming up to it right now. We can actually see it through the trees. It's so cool. We are yeah. literally the only people yep. here at this waterfall. There are benches to sit down. So beautiful. Highly recommend coming here when it snows or the day or the morning after it snows. Yeah. Perfect setting. It's actually only supposed to be used for sky top guests only, which is surprising. So you really just can't come back here if yeah. you want to. There's because it's private land, I guess. Yeah, and there's signs everywhere. So make sure you're staying at the resort. Just so relaxing sitting back here and listening to that waterfall. So calming, so serene. I could honestly stay back here all day long, you guys. Right now, we're gonna head back and grab something to eat. One thing I am definitely looking forward to when we get back to the hotel is every single day between four and five, they have afternoon tea, cookies, hot chocolate. We got the hot chocolate yesterday and it was so, so good. It's all free, so loving that extra touch. That alternate route we were talking about that goes on the other side of Trout Stream is basically like a fork as you're coming back from the falls. I would say a quarter of a mile down the trail back towards Sky Top. So we're gonna make that right and uh, take this alternate route towards Sky Top. We made it back to the room. What a hike that was, you guys. Definitely one for the books. And I got my hot chocolate downstairs when we walked into the lobby. Housekeeping. Hi, can I make a reservation for tonight? Yeah, what's your latest seating? 8.30? That's perfect. Okay, great. Thank you. Bye. We're about to head down and go to dinner. Our reservation is literally in five minutes, so we have to jump on the elevator, so we'll see you guys downstairs. We just finished up with dinner at Windsor, and it was amazing. I had the uh, ribeye steak, medium rare, was cooked amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they did that very well. Um, that's one thing we noticed. I think, what did you get, the tagatelli? Yes, my dinner was so good. The pasta was cooked perfectly, like Dave said, and it even had shrimp in it with some pesto sauce. We also did get Caesar salads to start, so really Really, really good. We highly recommend this restaurant. Good night, Frenchers. We are checking out in a few minutes. Good morning, guys. But really quickly, I wanted to show you guys this room before we do check out. When you first walk in, you see a massive bed, king size bed. It was super comfortable our entire stay. And then right behind it, there's this beautiful wall painted. And even the artist's name is on the wall, which we thought was really cool. And her name is Anne. When you walk over to the window, you see a beautiful view outside. We enjoyed this the entire stay. We saw snow falling. Then you make your way over to the left and there is a mini fridge and a safe and then there's one closet in here So we shoved everything we could in we packed it to the brim for sure And then when you make your way back, there's the tiny little bathroom Super small in there you guys, but everything was perfect besides that this room was decorated beautifully We love the colors throughout Super gorgeous, like we said, it did remind us of the Grand Floridian and Enchanted Rose Beauty and the Beast, so we really loved that. We actually killed it in these last two rooms we've had, the one in East Hampton, which had a very cool, unique vibe to it, and also this one. It's probably one of our favorite rooms so far. We are headed up to the Observation Tower. It's right on the same floor as the spa. This way is to the Observation Post. <laughs> I know it looks a little creepy. And this post was used during World War II for spotting and reporting enemy aircraft. Dave actually came up here the other night and took some really cool pictures. So before we left, we wanted to show you guys what it looks like during the day, but super cool. You could see all the views of Sky Top, the 5,000 acres that encompass this place. And you can also see Camelback in the distance. It's all lit up at night. I have skied and snow tubed Camelback my entire life, so it's really cool to see that in the distance. We are gonna go get all of our stuff in the room and then pack up. We'll see you guys on our next treventure. We hope you guys enjoyed Sky Top. We had such a great time here. We will definitely be back. I'm thinking in the summertime when all the summer activities are available. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys soon. Bye, treventurers.